Hello again. Now in this part of the video, we will learn how to draw a roof by footprint. So before we do anything, we need to see the drawing clearly. So let's go to the roof level and we cannot see anything here and we want to see the lower level which is second floor. So what you do, you go to the properties of, of this view under underlay select second floor which has been selected and if you are not seeing that i wanted to delete this view go back view tab and view get floor plan of roof again now once you get it you go to underlay and select second floor click apply and now you see that the second floor is visible as an underlay you also want to see this CAD drawing at the roof level. So if you want to do that, go to second floor, click on the CAD file and right now it's sitting on the second floor. Let's bring it to roof level. Click apply. Now it has gone to this roof level. So let's go back to roof level. And now we see not only the underlay, but also this CAD drawing at this level. So there's a lot of confusion here. So what you'll do is we will we will go to visibility and graphics settings of this particular view, roof view, go to imported categories. Let's switch up the side drawings. We don't need that. Let's expand this individual project and let's switch off ceiling, column, electrical, any elevational lines, any flow lines, any footings, foundation, grates, HVAC and mechanical, including plumbing. Click apply, click OK. So you see that those layers are switched off now. So we can actually see what is the layout or what is the shape of the roof. So if you can see here, the shape of the roof is, the roof is sloping this way. It's like a pitched roof. So this face is sloping, this face is sloping, and then there's a T which is extending in this direction, which has this side sloping up, this side sloping up, and there's no slope on this side. Similarly, all these three sides are sloping. So before we do anything, we need to know how much is the slope of this roof. So let's measure it. So click on measure aligned from this edge of the roof to roughly a point here. So if you see here, it's 12 feet 4 inches. So if it is 12 feet, let's assume it 12 feet. And if we go here, let's go back and switch the elevational lines because we are not seeing the elevation. So click on elevation, apply. Okay. So if you go here, you see that the height of the roof from the top to here is 8 feet. So that means in 12 feet horizontal run, the roof rises by 8 feet. So that's our slope. Click escape, go back to the roof plan and let's draw the roof. To draw the roof, we have to go to architecture, roof and roof by footprint. Because we know the footprints, we'll be drawing the footprints. So click on roof by footprint. Now you can select here what type of roof you want. They are various types that you can select. You can modify them if needed. But just for the purpose of this video, we'll click, we'll keep the 12 inch basic roof. So select that. What we need to do here is we need to draw the footprint of the roof along with, we have to specify what is the slope. So let's pick a line which will define the footprint of the roof. Now before we pick any line, we know that only this is the line of the roof which does not have any slope. The rest all of the lines have 8 feet rise and 12 feet run. So what we'll do is, before we select these lines, before we pick them, we will check define slopes. What it does is, when I pick this line, it tells the program that this side will be sloping. So if I click on here, you see this little triangle appearing. This shows that this side is sloping. Now, if you see the slope is given in degrees, okay, 
and what we have measured slope is in rise and run. So what we have to do is we have to go back and change the units. So what we can do, we can discard the roof for now and let's go back to manage, go to project units and click on slope and let's change this to rise per one foot. Click OK. Now let's go back here, architecture, the roof by footprint, pick line, define slope and now let's click on these lines. So these are the lines that will be sloping. What we are doing, we are just drawing a shape of the roof. Now before we pick this line, because we know that there is no slope here, we have to make sure we uncheck this define slope. So uncheck this and now pick this. So you see there is no triangle appearing like this over here. What it says that this line will not be sloping. So once this is done, I want you to click on modify and then go back and click on this line. And now it shows you what is the slope of this roof. So 7 inches in 1 foot. What we need is we have 8 feet going in 12 feet. So that would be same as 8 inches going in 12 inches. So that means the slope that we want is we want 8 inches in 1 foot. So let's go back and change it. Hit enter. So the slope is 8 inches rise in 1 foot run. Once we are done, go here and change this to Change this to 8 inches in 1 foot, same over here, eight inches in one foot, same over here, Okay, so we have corrected the slope of these lines which will be sloping on the roof. We don't need to do anything here on this line because this line is not sloping. Once this is all done, click finish edit mode. Once it is finished, as you can see it has drawn this roof. We can go in 3D view and we can actually visualize this roof. So this is the roof that we drew. So this is how we draw the roof. Now you will notice that when I corbet that there is a gap here. Do you see that? That this wall is not connected to the roof. So what we can do is we can select this wall, the wall that is on the side and when you select it there is a contextual tool that appears and says attach top or base. So I can click on that and I want this wall stop to attach this roof. When I click here, you see it that it's going to connect, it's going to take the wall, extend it to the roof. I can do the same on to this wall. I can click on the wall and attach top or base to the roof. And it extends that wall. You can do the same to this front wall. Attach top or base and it attaches to the top. So what we did, we extended the, the walls to connect to the roof. Now if you notice here, there is an overhang. And the overhang here is empty. So there is no soffit here. So if we had to create a soffit, okay, if there is not this area is not covered from below then what we can do is we can go to the roof level and we can actually draw a floor at this level. So to do that what we will do we will go to the floor, floor architectural. Let's select a generic 
concrete slab 6 inches edit type and what we're going to do we're going to duplicate it and we're going to call it overhang soffit click ok go to edit structure we have a concrete as a material let's go and make it wood sheathing so let's just type wood so plywood sheathing let's take this click ok so we change the material let's make it one half inch thick click ok click ok again so what we are doing is we are drawing a floor but this floor is made of uh, plywood and that's half inch thick so let's pick line now what we want is we want this floor to appear two inch inside this exterior wall so when you pick line let's create two inch offset so what it does is when you pick line if this overhand soffit will be embedded at least two inches inside the wall let's select this edge let's select this edge this edge this edge this edge and we don't want soffit here because we know our exterior wall is extending to the roof let's modify let's go back and pick line let's select the outer boundary without any offset and this edge and this edge once that is done let's extend to corner make sure it's closed loop so this is the shape that we want this plywood sheathing to cover the overhang soffit once this is done click ok lines cannot intersect ok continue there is somewhere something oh, right here ok let's finish this ok once that is done click ok would you like the walls to go up to this floor now we know that we are faking this floor as overhang soffit so we don't want to do that so click no and now the soffit has been created so if you go in 3d view you see that now it's it's plywood sheathing that covers the the floor or the roof now we can extend if you want we can extend this over here also but if you don't want that you can avoid it. We can also change the edge detail of this this roof. So, for instance, right now, if I click on this roof, this roof has a plumb cut for the rafter. So, if I click here, and if I select a two cut plumb, and click apply, you see what it does? It makes a sharp cut. Okay, but if I click it again, because fascia depth is zero, it's not creating any fascia here. But if I want to cut plumb, and if I click on fascia of eight inches, click apply, what it will do? It will create a fascia. I can also select a square cut. When I click apply. A square cut will, will taper it inside. You can see it better in section view. So you see that here that this is the square cut. And if I go, if I select this, and if I go and select and make it plumb cut and apply, it will be a perpendicular. And then if I keep it to normal plumb cut. And apply and it's gonna plumb it to the depth of the 12 inches where our fascia is. This is the overhang soffit that we created. Thanks for watching.